Hi, in this video, we will see how to uninstall MySQL from your Windows 10 computer. So before starting, at first we need to go settings. So we can click start menu and then there will be a gear leg icon. And if you move your cursor on top of it, it will be settings. So just click on the settings and the Windows settings will be opened in a new window. So from here, we have to go to the apps section. So there is an apps. So we have to click here to access there. Once we are in the F section, then we'll see all the list of applications which are installed on our Windows 10 computer. And for MySQL installation, we have to search one by one. There is an easy way you can easily search by typing MySQL in this search box. So click on the search box and then type MySQL. And once you type MySQL, you will see all the MySQL related stuffs are there. So to uninstall mysql completely we need to uninstall everything but uh, it's not an easy way like on click uninstall it's not like that so for mysql uh, we have to follow some instructions or some procedure at first uh, we have to uninstall orgbench this is the easiest way to uninstall fast so i'm going to click microsoft uh, mysql uh, orgbench and then it will open uninstall and modify button so to uninstall we just need to click on uninstall button and then again it will ask you to confirm just click uninstall and then it will uninstall uh, mysql completely this will only uninstall microsoft orgbench once we did that then we have to uninstall some other things also so let's wait till it finish the uninstallation of mysql orgbench so during the time of uninstallation, you might get this type of window. So we have to click on yes to continue the uninstallation. Otherwise, it will not continue the uninstall. So once MySQL Orgbench is uninstalled, you will see there is no MySQL Orgbench. That means that is uninstalled. Now the second option is, uh, I mean the second step to uninstall MySQL completely is to uninstall the database. So here is the database uh, MySQL server. So basically MySQL server, we need to uninstall this thing. So we have to click here and then we have to again choose uninstall and then choose uninstall again to confirm and then it will start uninstalling MySQL server. So again, you will find this type of notification. Just click on yes to uninstall completely and it will finish uninstallation of MySQL server. So once MySQL server installation complete, then you will get this step of notification and it will be missing over there. Now the second, uh, third step is to uninstall the installer. This is the MySQL installer. We need to uninstall this thing. So just select there and then again modify uninstall. These two buttons will be there. Just click on uninstall button to start installation and then again confirm by clicking uninstall and then it will uh, show you this type of things. Okay, so it is showing the following application should be closed before continuing the install MySQL notifier. Okay, automatically close. I will choose this thing so it will close automatically and it will completely uninstall the other things. Once you choose this thing and then click on OK to start the installation of MySQL. So it will take some time again. Just wait till it finish to complete the installation. And in between the installation, if you again find this type of window, just click on Yes to complete. Uh, done installation and once done installation is done then you will see uh, that is removed okay then we also have this type of things we also need to uninstall on by one so now we will uninstall uh, this notifier first and then click on uninstall and then click uninstall so for mysql we need to uninstall everything and after that we also have some other step also uh, we'll see that so click the control panel uh, that means if this type of menu is again appeared click on yes to continue and then it is gone so it's done then we have the other things now you can uninstall one by one any there is no order uh, the first three is the main problem so i did that now you can uninstall one by one here so I'm selecting the first one and then I'm clicking uninstall, uninstall and then again yes to complete the installation and it is done. Then we have to go to the second one. This will be the super fast. Only the first three steps are 
time consuming but rest of the things are very easy to uninstall and it's very easy gently yes to uninstall and it's gone now this on uninstall uninstall then again yes now oh, mysql connector uninstall uninstall yes then this is done then mysql documents we don't need uninstall uninstall again we have to agree yes then done then mysql example samples uninstall uninstall click on yes and it will be gone another two select uninstall then click again uninstall and then choose yes and then finally it will be uninstalled and the last one my sql shell so click on uninstall then uninstall then click on yes to continue and then it will be finished very soon so once my skills uh, and other components of mysql is uninstalled completely you will see this type of empty list so there is nothing okay so we can close this thing now uh, we have to go uh, windows explorer so i am going to i'm going windows explorer so this is my windows explorer so from here we need to delete some of the files manually because uh, mysql uh, cannot be uninstalled by selecting uninstall uninstall like that way the way which we did so at first we need to go our computer then we are we have to go program files and then from here we have to go then we have to search mysql so if you type mysql if there is there we have to delete and if it is not there now open the windows explorer and then select my pc and from here we have to go the c drive manually and from here we have to delete all of the mysql related stuff so before starting at first click on the view from home share view from view and under view this type of tab will uh, under this tab this type of menus will be appeared and from there is a uh, checkbox hidden items so we have to click here and then all the hidden item will be appeared over there now we need to delete the mysql related stuff so at first go to program files and search mysql if anything is related to mysql then select that and delete that if it is not there then go back and then go to program files x86 and then select mysql choose so nothing is there so it's not there so that means it removed completely and then go to program data there is another one this program data and then search mysql so here i see there is mysql is there so we have to manually delete this thing right so right click and then click on delete or you can shift delete you can do that and it will delete everything and then it's done so basically uh, we need to search these three folder program files program files x86 and program data and we have to must enable the hidden items and inside it if there is anything related to mysql then we must need to delete all of them and there is another uh, thing which you need to down uh, delete manually so we have to go back to the main computer c drive and then from this is under users so each computer whenever you install mysql then under each profile generally it creates something so we need to go that particular username and then we have to search the mysql deleted stuff and we have to delete so i'm going there and once you are there then you will find uh, your username and here all the settings related to that user so here we have to search app data so this is app data it will be by default hidden so uh, remember you must have to check this thing hidden items and then go app data and under app data there is many other things like local local raw roaming okay so for mysql we have to go roaming and here you will see mysql is there mysql so this thing we also need to delete so once we are there right click and then select one delete to delete this thing and now it's completely deleted and in this way you remove everything and once you are done then uh, go to the main computer like main pc this pc and then uncheck these hidden items and it will be by default 
the settings that's all in this way we can delete uh, and uninstall completely mysql from our windows 10 computer hopefully by following this tutorial you are able to uninstall mysql completely and delete all unnecessary files which are not required after installation of mysql and if if you feel this video is useful don't forget to like and share with others and also don't forget to subscribe our channel and finally thank you for watching